it sync one two three sync one two three okay let's also set this up and sound is on we're gonna turn this up just a little bit and hopefully that doesn't destroy everything and we're gonna do that we're going to change it out of windowed mode okay okay hey there Heather Heather I'm trying something different so <laughs> this is hopefully going to make it so that things run more smoothly from my recording end who knows <laughs> uh, but yeah we're gonna continue playing hive swap uh, I'm gonna stop right when we get to the car train because I think that'll be a good stopping point all right let's see here and we're on that one. All right. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna do something. Actually, we're gonna talk to people because I think I should talk to them. <clears throat> hey, you kids need something? Nope, just passing on through. It's rude to stare. Uh, look lady. I got no idea what your blood color is, but I do know ain't no way it's blue enough for me to be interested in anything you got to say. Wow. Let's get out of here, Zephyros. Uh, okay. Take a pick, huh? But actually, don't really. I charge for those. Alright. And then this guy. Talk to him really quick. Greetings, travelers. What a glorious night to reap the blessings of this cosmos. To drink in the dazzling light of our peerless empire. Um, what? I'm saying, hey. Oh, hey. Is this another reference I'm not getting? Uh, no, I, I have no idea either. Let us speak plainly with one another. Is this not the best of all possible worlds? I don't know if I can agree with you on this one, on that one, buddy. Do you mean to suggest that a more perfect system exists elsewhere in the firmament? That a land untouched by the claws of our heiress could revival that of Alternia's grace? Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is this guy messing with us? Ugh, I'm not sure. The name is Vazer, so you may more ac accurately discuss me amongst yourselves. Oh, I'm Joey. This is Zephros. Are you waiting for the train, too? I guess it's pretty obvious that's what you're doing, unless you just like to hang out at the train stations. There's a cafe at the stop. I guess some people like to come here. Is it the best of all cafes? Possible cafes, though? Is it? I have tested it, so I couldn't tell you. So, are you going to G Jivik Week? We are. In theory. Maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was like the only voice that I can think of with this typing quirk. Ooh boy, that's a large bug. Keep your fronds to yourself. Rusty or I'll or they'll be snacks. Believe me, I wasn't going to touch it. Is that your Lucis? No, it's another giant white bug I found under a rock. Oh, are you joking? Yeah. I'm just getting some quality time with her before she gets caged for the trip. And my Moira won't bug me when I'm with her. She likes to bite him. Yeah, I feel guilty. Damix looks so nervous when we left him in the craft crating area. His Lucis? I mean, not his Moira. His Moira is me, and I'm always nervous. <laughs> Fascinating. I feel like I could give him a better voice, but not good at that. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can talk to people. Uh, wait, actually, you know what? We're going to do something because I feel like I can do this in here. We're going to switch to Damic, and I'm curious if this will change things because I originally did this before. Oh, well, we found it. The machine is right up there. All we have to do is buy some ticks and then we can board. Cool beans. 
All right, let's see what we've got. So where'd I go in here? Oh, I see. Input and destination. Oh, GVIC Week Special. I see, I see two tickets. Blood color? Well, I guess we can put us both as burgundy bloods. Oh no. Oh no. Joey, wait! I purposely picked uh, Zephyros. Oh, well. Oh, oh no, what did I do? Oh, I'm such an idiot. I totally forgot that these machines test your blood color to make sure you don't buy the wrong class tickets. And I guess, since you're not a troll. Okay, well, I guess you have to use the machine then. Okay, let's see. Welp. This is awkward. Uh, oh no. It won't sell any more ticks until the Jones come to fix the machine. In two hours. The train will be gone by then. Oh no. What are we going to do? Um, I guess, I guess we have to find a way, another way to get a ticket. Well, alright. I know what we need to do, but... I'm not fond of it. I think I'm going to do... So last time I played this, because I played it, I had to play at least the first part five times. And then this part I got to play at least once. Um, I have to play it... I decided to not stop her. I still want to not stop her because I'm curious if that will have like long-lasting ramifications. I don't want her to get killed, but you know, it'd just be interesting. Alright, this guy has to have a douchebag voice. Hey, sweet cheeks, waiting for the train. Uh, I guess so, you too? You bet, nice to meet you. The name's Zebra. Why is he talking like that? Ugh, IDK. What about you two love lovely lobuds? What shall I call you? Um, I'm Joey, and this is Zephros. Those names are just wonderful. So, are you on your way to Jeevik Week? Yeah. Ha, ah, me too. I'm looking forward to seeing you there, winky face. I'm guessing that whenever, like, the little emoticons at the sides change, it's referencing, like, a different way that he's speaking. I feel like I should just go a little more all out. Um. <coughs> uh. No. Jimmy <laughs> Dodger. I'm not going to do my Jimmy Dodger voice. That'd be kind of a little too much. <laughs> Are you industry professionals too, by any chance? Uh, industry professionals? I guess not then. Well, if you're interested to know, I'm a pretty well-established music blogger myself. There are always so many incredible musical acts that come to the play at Jeevik Week. Anyone who writes about music would be insane to sit it out. That's interesting. Isn't it? You might be wondering, what brings me an indigo blood out to a place like this to board the train? It's funny you ask. Uh, I didn't? You see, one of the biggest rappers at the event. Honestly, he's one of the biggest rappers ever. Well, I got word from my sources that he'd be spotted vacationing down here, of all places, alone. And I thought, why not pop down for a bit and try my luck running into him? And can you believe it? I'd given up all hope, but we're on the same train platform as Marvis Zoloto right now. Right over there, just look at him! Ugh, isn't he beautiful? Yeah, totally. Hey, we've got to go get tickets so we don't miss the train, okay? Yeah, of course. Talk to you later. Um, let's go talk to her. This is awful, the acoustics are so bad in here, it's messing with my pitch. Oh, yeah, it's kind of echoey. Just kidding, my pitch is perfect. Do you need something? Oh, um, I'm Joey and this is Zephros. Hi. Chixie, uh, Chixie Reichsmer. Uh, nice to meet you, Chixie. Add me on Shitter if you want. I have some demos up there. Oh, cool, I will. Are you going to Jeevik Week? Yeah, that's where anybody who's anybody is going today. I'm opening. 
What? Re- really? Yes. Damn, it still doesn't really feel real. I mean, I'm one of the 20 opening acts. It's not, it's so, it's not a big, a huge deal. It's still pretty cool. Damik would be crazy jealous if he was here. Damik? Oh, don't worry about it. Well, hope to see you there, Chixie. Um, talk to Elward. Psst. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Over there. I- are you talking to me? What? No, not you. The cute one. The girl. Um, hi. You guys getting on the train for Jeevik week? Yep. Then you definitely want some of these. Just take a look here. What is that? It's a real long ride, and I know getting any shut eye on the low blood trains can be a tall order. But take two of these bad girls, and they'll have you out in a flash. Just 300 credits? For both? What? Do I look like a charity? Each. <laughs> um, thanks for the offer, but I don't think we'll be needing any of that. More of a party girl, huh? If you'd rather get down and join in all the rust bud rumpus, I've got some pills for that too. Check these out. Just one of these sly ladies will get you blasted, uh, will get you so blasted you don't even want to sleep. You'll rack up from dusk to dusk to dusk. My goodness, you're just a drug dealer. You got a problem with that? Oh, um, I just, um, I don't do drugs. Myself, personally. That's cool. But if you ever change your mind and find yourself in need, just hit me up. I've got all kinds of shit for sale. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh my goodness, I'm just... Who? sorry, you just startled me. I'm just going and saying a, a cuss like that. I mean, I'd never... Whew. Not that it's a big deal or anything. It's fine if you cuss. I don't care. I just don't um care to do it myself. <laughs> You're cute. Oh, uh, you think so? Oh, um, thank you, I guess. Winky face. What's your name? Um, my name? Yeah, the thing you're called. Oh, um, it's Joey. Joey Claire. Your name's cute, too. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, what's your name? My name? Yeah, the thing you're called? Winky face? <laughs> well, I have a few. A uh, different name to whisper for every shadow in Alternia. Uh, drug cell, scalper. But you? You can call me Elward. Gay girl, Elward. Winky face. <laughs> wow, okay. Nice to meet you, Elward. Joey, are you okay? You're changing color. Oh, I'm just fine. Alright, uh, we'll talk to him really quick. J- Joey, wait. Hmm? What? You can't just go and speak to a purple blood, let alone him. Huh? Why not? Oof. You're an alien, so you don't know, but just trust me, clowns are bad news. Lol, you guys know I can hear you whispering over there? Hey, I don't bite. You know, bring it on in. You know, bring it on in. Uh, look, Zephyros, it's totally fine. Hi, I'm Joey. You look interesting. What's your name? Interesting, huh? (laughs) <laughs> Here, I thought you guys were fans. I'm sorry, fans? Dang, do you not get slammed or get cold out into this Rustberg, Rustyberg? I have no idea who you are. Sorry. <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's cool. This is just a nice change of pace, actually. I'm on vacay. I love the adoring crowds and all, but sometimes you just need to get away from it all. You feel me? Are you supposed to be a celebrity or something? You could say that. But I'm more than happy to just be some guy to you, Joey. Name's Marvis. <laughs> nice to meet you, Marvis. Are you going to Critia's party? Yeah, I got a gig coming up. Cool, me and my friend Zephyros here are going too. Maybe we'll see each other on the train. Oh, I'm sure of it. Okay, well, we're gonna go get tickets. Catch you later. Zephyros, are you okay? You look a little... I will be in a minute. I'm just kind of rattled. What? Why? You just went and and talked to a purple blood. We're lucky we still have our heads. What are you talking about? 
Marvis, se- Marvis seems like a perfectly nice guy. He's a clown. I, yeah? Do you have some sort of prejudice against clowns? I don't get it. Ugh, there's no way for me to explain it to you. It's just, they have this whole, um, culture. Culture? A culture of being a clown? Yes! And they love to do murders and hurt people. They especially love to do big hurts and murders to people like me. I really don't know what to say. I'm sorry you have this, like, clown-based trauma that I seem to have invertedly set off, but he's not murdering anyone right now, and he seems totally fine based on the conversation we just had with him where nobody got murdered. So maybe we can relax a little about it? Ugh, never mind. Let's just move on. Zephros has a point. Um, in the original series, uh, clowns, purple blood, specifically of his level, uh, they tended to be a little bit unstable, and they tended to be the ones who called all the misfits and the people who, or the trolls that uh, weren't good enough for the Empire. And Zephros being a such a low blood color, he has a right to be scared and also, like, I wish he could explain it better to Joey because um, he has, I think sh- her talking, like, the way that he explains it to her, it's not, like, on the same level as, um, or he's not explaining it well. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, there were a couple, like, there was at least one example of a clown in the original series called Curlaws, who wasn't the worst, but he was, it, it wasn't his fault that stuff happened, but stuff that did happen was a little much. And they tend to be super religious zealots. Uh, so that's a whole, whole, whole thing. Let's see. All right. That guy you were talking to about earlier, Mar- Marvis? I just spoke to him a minute ago. Excuse me, what? You just spoke to Marvis Zoloto? Uh, yeah? You just walked up to him and spoke to him. With your words. Yeah. Why is that such a big deal? He's just a clown. Oh no. Just a clown? He is so much more than that. Marvis is the only greatest, is only the greatest slam poet of our generation. Multiple times slam or get cold. Grand champion, producer, writer, poet, artist. And you might think that his lyrics are pro regime, but oh no, 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 no. If you really think about it, read between the lines and connect the words of, to the weight of his juggalo heritage, you'll see him for what he really is. A radical revolutionary who would change our way of life forever through the power of vigorously wrapped word alone. I feel like this is like a play on Dave Strider. I'm not sure. I hope. I hope not. Because honestly, like, Dave is so much better than that. I'm partial to Dave Strider, okay? He's one of my favorite characters. He is my favorite character in Homestuck. <laughs> it makes sense, although he might technically occupy a position higher in the, hem- in the spectrum than most. When you really examine the power structures and play on Alternia, clowns are easily the most oppressed class of them all. Yeah, I'd never dream of just inserting my lowly self, revolting privileged as I am as an indigo blood, into his sight. I'd love to talk to him. Just really get down to business, probing his think pan so I can figure out how the genius happens. Get an autograph, maybe? Even receive some of his valuable input on my endeavors in slam poetry. But I would never be so presumptuous as to go up to him and talk to him like that. There are protocols to observe, respect to show. And don't think I'm asking you for help introducing us. I would never ask for that. So, don't. Um, okay. I'm just gonna, uh, do some stuff for a bit, okay? See you later. Alright, so, ugh, I need to pull up my sleeves because it's toasty in here. Uh, so, also, Indigo Bloods, which is what this guy is, they tend to be, I think they're, like, right below, they're, like, the second, no, it goes Indigo, then the purple, then violet, then fuchsia, I think. I can't remember if Critia is purple or violet. Either way, um, the clowns are, like, right above them on this hemo spectrum, and while these guys are zealots for the fuchsias, these guys are zealots for, like, the high bloods, uh, especially the ones right above, and, uh, he, 
these guys tend to be super uh ridiculous with that kind of stuff in the original series there was a character called equius and he was uh kind of obsessed with the high bloods and like would worship them and kind of talk down about himself and he recognized that he's privileged but not one of like the kings and queens and as you go higher in the hemo spectrum there tends to be less and less of them whether that's because they're cold or not i don't really know <sighs> I could be wrong. Things could have changed. I don't really know when it comes to Homestuck. Also, technically, okay, part of the reason why they're kind of like the higher bloods, too, is because they live a lot longer. Burgundy bloods tend to live for a very short amount of time, uh, with, like, the mutated color of candy red being, like, the shortest lifespan versus, like, the fuchsia bloods who can live for, like, thousands of years, which is why it's such a big deal with, like, Mina and the um, imperial condescension, blah, blah, blah. It's weird. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I think I can talk to him again. Uh, no, wait. I might have to talk to Marvis again. Hey, Marvis. Yo, Joe. <laughs> Joe? Not a fan of nicknames. Oh, no, it's totally fine. Actually, I like it. You can call me Joe if you want. Cool. So, what's up, Joe? <laughs> well, I was just wondering... Would you happen to know where we might be able to find some tickets? Besides from the ticket machine, I mean, since it's kind of, a uh, broken. Sorry, can't help you there. I got my ticks from the fleshy lady herself. Don't think I got any hookups that'll make it in time for you to catch the next train. Oh, well, thanks anyway. Chin up, Joe. I got it on good authority you'll make it on board one way or another. Honk. Huh. Interesting. Um, hi again. Hey, change your mind? I know when a girl is playing hard to get. Oh, I actually do need something. Not drugs. <laughs> if. Oh, what can I do for you? We need tickets for the train. Ticket machines are right over there. Anything else? Oh, that machine is broken. For real? You break it? Um, yes. Damn, guess we got a real little criminal on our hands. It was an accident. I just don't know how anything around here works. Heh, <laughs> guess you don't get how much. So, tickets. Check these out. How much? I gotta be real with you, girl. These tickets are fake. Oh, don't make that face. I only offer quality shit. An associate of mine made these. Her stuff is top tier. I could give you both of them if you get me one real ticket. If those tickets are so good, why don't you just use them yourself? Because if I use them, then you can't. Didn't your Lucas ever teach you not to look a gift feast in the mouth? One real ticket for two high quality fakes. It's a good deal. So she never says might. That comes into play later. Hey, I know this is a lot to ask, but could we buy your tickets from you? Maybe we could get on another. Maybe you could get on another train. You can't have my ticket. You don't even want to go to Chiefic Week. Why not? It sucks. It, no offense, but I'm pretty sure Chiefic Week doesn't suck. Right. If it's so bad, why do you want to go? Good grief. First of all, I don't have to justify my personal and professional choices to you. Secondly, I'm trying to help you. I told you things might get a little intense at the show. I intense? How? Well, I guess it's not like anyone will listen to a Rusty anyway. Do you know who the mask is? What? You mean, like, the movie? What? No. The mask. The performer. Oh, yeah. She's going to be there? Wait, who are we talking about? Oh, that's... The mask is the sort of vigilante. She's an underground rapper who's been popping up at a bunch of high blood shows and speaking truth to power. Yeah, I'm surprised she hasn't gotten cold yet. Yeah, me too. Anyway, she's me. I'm the mask. Plot twist. Wait, what? Shh. You never know who's been listening, but believe me, it's better if you just don't get on the train. Chivik Week is too good an opportunity. I can't piss it, pass it up. I'm going to stage a protest right there on stage. So no, you can't have my ticket. So you know what she's talking about? The mask is kind of an urban legend, but one that actually exists. Damix met her before, I think? 
I don't know, he always changes the channel when she's on the news. But you don't think what she's doing is worth it? Of course I do, but not where she's planning to do it. There's, there are going to be subjugulators sub, sub there. There are going to be thresecutioners. I don't know what any of those things are, but they sound pretty bad. Um... Let's try to talk her out of it. Let's see what happens if we do. Okay, you know what? You're right. Uh, oh, I am? Yeah, you obviously know way more about what's going on than I do. I already got us in trouble by acting without thinking, so if you really think we should talk to her out of it, let's do it. Oh, I like this a little bit more. I don't have to talk to douchebag. I don't like Zebra. <laughs> hey, Chixie, I know you probably don't want to hear this, but Zephyrus thinks it's really, really important that you don't do this protest. Yeah, it's way too dangerous. Right, okay, I've tried to be polite, I've tried to keep things civil, but you don't know my life, you don't know my plan, my pain. I've worked hard to get to where I am, and Tetrick D says all I have to do is... Wait, did you just say? Nothing, I didn't say anything, I'm just angry. No, you said Tetrick D. So what, who cares, it doesn't have anything to do with you. Yes, it does, that's my memorial, Damik's title. That's not possible. Tetrick D doesn't have time for conference. He told me that himself. Well, he's never told me about you, either. Prove it. Uh huh? I don't know anyone named Damick, so as far as I'm concerned, this is somebody else completely. Um... Maybe give her this? I definitely don't have time for role-playing. Uh... This? Uh, let's try this. Okay, how about the sodas? No thanks, that stuff will coat my throat. Hmm. What else we got? I don't know what this is. Let's try. I have no idea how that's going to be anything to help. Oh, that's nice of you, but none of my wounds are visible. Or, oh. Oh, honey. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Can I send her a message? DM. Oh, wait. Uh, Chivic Week would be nice. Schedule dates are set. Feed? I would, I'm curious if I can send her a message on here, but nope. Um, hmm. You have an idea? What could I give her? Or what could I get her? That might... Hmm. Let's talk to you, maybe? I know this is a long shot, but would you be considering selling your ticket? I've got, um, stuff to trade, I guess, pogs? Oh, hell yeah. I love to just give up my travel plans to get some weird stuff off randos at the train station. Yeah, I guess that's a no. Uh... Hmm. So, listen, we really need to get on that train. Is there any way we could buy your ticket? Or trade? We have some cool stuff. Yeah, I think that's debatable. We have some stuff. Listen, friends. I'm going to offer some advice that I find especially useful. In difficult times, sometimes not everything is about you. Excuse me? As members of the underclass people like us have got to accept, accept that we can't get what we want. Otherwise, society will crumble around our horns. Okay, I'm not sure that I agree with that, but also I need a ticket to get on this train. Maybe not everything is about me, but this is. Perhaps fate will grant you your heart's desire then. I don't really understand much of what you're saying. Let's just be clear, that's a no, right? Yes. Yes, you mean that's a no or no? Oh my god. Um, 
Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not gonna go to the help. Let's see here. Maybe I'll talk to... I could try talking to her again. How can I prove it to her? Sync one, two, three. Sync one, two, three. All right. So I'm picking this up uh, here because my video stopped recording and the audio, the video quality was absolutely terrible. So we're gonna see if me doing a couple changes have helped it, and also hopefully this will continue to record. Uh, my good battery is like gone, so we're gonna do a little something different. She doesn't believe you. Yeah, I wouldn't believe me either. Yeah, I can't prove it. Hmm, can we show her the, uh, tablet? I'm using Damage Chitter account, aren't I? And I'm wearing his sweatshirt. That's his personal Chitter. He wouldn't use it to communicate with any of his operatives. And if she doesn't know his name, she definitely doesn't know his sign. I guess you could just tell her some stuff about him? See if anything hits her radar? Uh, like what? I don't know anything. He's your friend. All I know about him is he's got a, he has a, he has a bunch of guns and likes putting stuff in piles. I guess it's worth a try. All right. You guys, you really need to leave me alone. Nothing you can say is going to. The Tetrix sleeps naked. Um. Um. It, his favorite pizza topping is cylindrical cured, cured meat product. He had a really bad case of horn flake when he was a Riegler. When he, we were five sweets, he fell out of a tree and chipped his fang. It's pretty cute, but he hates it when I call it telling that. We've got a band, but he doesn't. Ha he hasn't been. We haven't been able to decide on a name. Oh, look at Joey's shirt. That's a sign. Stop! Why are you just shouting out all of this random guy's secrets? None of that means anything to me. Because I want you to trust that I'm not just one of the Damik's disposable lackeys. I know him better than anyone. So I know what I'm talking about when I say that you're, what you're doing is way too dangerous. So far, you haven't even proven to me that you're a lackey. Anybody can just go and make stuff up. Well, I'm definitely not a leader like he is, but I do know some stuff. We've been involved in a secret operation to topple the Hemospectrum on Alternia for sweeps. We've been working together to, with Critia and other hybrids named Fiamet to take down the heiress. F Fiamet? Yeah, did he mention her? Uh, I don't much know much about her, but I guess she's one of Critia's friends. She's one of the four Tetrix that Damic has chosen to keep to order after our takeover so that we can transition to a new system of governance and bolster our forces in preparation for when the Empress returns to try and stop our up uprising. And technically, I'm one of the Tetrix myself. Wait, Tetrix D. I know he's working with Critia and I've heard the name Fiamet, but he told me that one of the four Tetrix would be me. What? Oh boy. Wow, obviously we're not on the same page here. But do you believe me now that I know something? That I know him? Yeah, <sighs> okay. Zephros? That was your name, right? Yeah. Tetrick D. Damick, if that's his real name. I met him at a club. I started a protest sort of by accident a little while back. Damick heard my performance. He talked to me after the show. We started messaging. He would tell me the best places to perform, where it would make the most impact, and when he worshipped and when he worshipped uh, like lyrics with me. Sorry, I've been reading a lot. He's really talented. We were planning a big protest move. I don't know when it was supposed to go down. He went dark on me a couple of weeks ago. I was worried and I couldn't just sit still and do nothing. When I heard about the Jeevik Week contest, I knew I could win. This is could be my chance to reach a broader audience without his help. And I thought it may, he would be there. He might recognize me on stage. He won't be there, Chixie. I'm sorry. Is he... Is he dead? No! Just out of town. Well, even if you were one of his friends, that doesn't mean anything to me. You can't talk me out of this. I've made up my mind. Zephyros, are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. I just wish she'd listen to me. 
I saw the look on your face when she said that thing about Damic. About Damic saying she was one of the Tetramarks? Or whatever. Yeah, I'm sure it was just a misunderstanding. Sephros, do you really believe that's true? Yeah, Damic has a lot of contacts and projects. That's why he doesn't have time to clean and stuff like that. In this way, it's so crucial that I help him out. So I wouldn't be surprised if she just got the wrong idea for some stuff he said. Or he was lying to you? Telling you what you wanted to hear and string you along so you keep working for him? What? I don't want to take keep shaking salt into the wounds, Ephros, but I think you need to wake up to that what that jerk what this jerk is as is and always has been. He's been he's always treated you like disposable dirt. Why wouldn't this be any more of the same? I know he has a lot of agents he keeps at an arm's length, but I'm different. He he said I was. And now we know he's saying the same thing to Chixie. Sephros, come on. Look, my moral allegiance with Davik isn't what matters here. We have to stop Chixie from getting hurt first. Well, she's made up her mind about that. Unless we can come up with some other way of convincing her. Well, there's only other w one way. Offers good until the train arrives. One real ticket for two quality fakes. Hey, that girl over there, you see her? Oh, the bronzy? She isn't really my type. What about her? She's going to stage a protest at Jeevik Week. What, that little thing? She looks like a breeze might blow her over. Yeah, but she has a mask. Or is the mask or something. Chewie, no! Wait, that little nibble is the mask? Like, the rapper? Yeah, you've heard of her? She, yeah, I've heard of her. Everybody has. What the hell is she doing out in Al Alclut? Joey, please stop. Seriously, I can't believe you just... What? She can help. And you said she was going to pull one of her low blood smackdown ragers at Chivik Week? Yeah, that's not gonna fly. She's gonna get cold. You see why I want to stop her. I do. Lead the way. Hey, girl. Um, hi. Name's Elberts. Well to meet you. Oh, my name is... don't care. So I hear through the spherical fruit stock that you're that high bounty underground rapper everyone has been talking about online. You didn't say anything about bounties. What? Who told... Ugh, I can't believe you two. Hey, sweetie. Don't look at them. Look at me. Take my advice. One criminal mind to another. Don't do this. They will tear you apart. To, they will tear you to uh, muddy little scraps at Jeevik Week. You don't understand. I, what the hell are you getting out of this? What the hell are you getting out of this that you can't get somewhere else with less risk? Well, you like being in front of a crowd, right? You like hearing them chant your name? Go back to your bars. Make the trouble come to you. Don't go looking for it. That's easy for you to say. You're a blue blood. This isn't fair. You're right. It's real easy for me. Life's so easy it makes me want to puke. The stuff I do, nobody gives a shit. I barely even need to ca be careful. But you do. Don't make it easy for them. Now, why don't you be a good little grub and give my friend Joey here your ticket? There you go. Keep doing what you're doing. Make music and hit me up sometime. I can appreciate a girl willing to make a little noise. Okay, Joey. Ready to do some business? I don't know if I want to do the deal yet. Um, wait. There a problem? I'm not actually sure I want to do the deal just yet. Oh yeah? I literally just played Lucis to some flighty little rusty for you. I could have just taken her ticket from her and left you out to dry. Am I gonna regret doing business with you? J Joey, maybe we should do the trade. Hey, I just want to make sure he there isn't a better option. Don't you think it'd be safer to have real tickets than fake ones? I guess. I'm just being careful. Whatever. Let me know if you're ready to get serious. Let's see if I can hop the fence. Oh. Joey, what? Are you okay? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. 
I just can't believe you did that. You just went and told that Cerulean about Chixie's plan. She might have gone and told another hybrid or done something to Chixie herself. I don't think Elward is the kind of person who would do that. Besides, Chixie didn't seem too worried about telling us. She just blabbed it out like it was nothing. Right, but we're lowbloods. I'm not. I'm an alien, remember? You know what I mean. She thought she could trust us. Um... You're right. I keep doing stuff without thinking. I'll be more careful next time. Well, we have a ticket now. Do you want to make the exchange with Elward? Hmm... I don't know if I trust her. I'm not sure. Maybe we should see if we can find another real ticket before we resort to fake ones. Do I do it? Yeah, let's freaking do it. I know the other way. Okay, let's do this. I'm back so soon. Yes, do you have any idea where I might be able to get a ticket for the train? Preferably as soon as possible. The ticket machine is broken. Well, if the ticket machine is broken, I suppose you'd have to get it from a troll, then. Is there a chance you might give us yours? Excuse me? Give you mine? If there's anything, anything at all that might convince you to give up that ticket, well... Well, actually... Eh? Do you think if you were to go over there and ask that Marvis might give you an autograph for me? Uh, sure. I mean, yeah, probably. I can ask, anyway. Well, thank you so much. Here, get him to sign this album, alright? Okay, sure. He's kind of fun to talk as. Hi, Marvis. What's up, bro? I think I found a way to get a ticket, but I'll need your help. At your service. That guy over there, Zebra, said he might give us his ticket if he, if he got an autograph from you. Would you sign this album for him? Oh, sure, that's easy. <laughs> I always carry a marker just in case this happens. Cool, thanks. Here you go. Hey, no problem. Here you go. Thank you so much. I hate this guy so much. Honestly, I'm kind of doing this just so he'll get cold. All right, here you go. One signed, al one album signed by Marv Zolotto. Oh, oh wow. This, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever held in my own two hands. Thank you so, so much. Oh, I might cry. Hey, please don't. So, do you think we could get your ticket? Huh? My ticket? Whatever do you mean? Um, you sort of imply that you'd give us your- you'd give it to us if I got you this autograph? Mm, I distinctly never- distinctly never recall saying that. You lied to us. Lied? You were simply mistaken. But, hmm, I might consider it if you were to do one more thing for me. What? As if we would trust you now. Do you want the ticket or not, sweet peas? Yeah, I'm starting to think this guy isn't very nice. What? Me? Don't be ridiculous. I love little buds like you. You're all so feisty. Anyway, if you were to go over there and show Marvis my mixtape, I might think about giving you my ticket. Maybe. Your mixtape? Yeah, I've recently been getting into the production side myself. But it's hard putting yourself out there as a critic, you know? Not everyone is happy to see critical things about their favorite artists, and there's a bit of presumption of skill and understanding when you take the position of critic. If people were to t think my work isn't up to stuff, well, it could be a real trivia travail, travail for someone in my position. I need a real honest and talented eye for my work before I forge out into the great unknown of music stardom. Who better to give me guidance than the very grand master of slams himself, Master Zoloto? Ugh, fine. Give me your stupid mixtape and I'll see what he thinks. Thanks, dear. Here, add me on Twitter and I'll send it over. Fine. I hate him so much. Oh. Zephyros is pretty cute. The cod... Okay. Uh, at least Marvis is fun to talk as. 
Ugh. You was wrong, bro, Joe. You know that autograph I got for you for that guy over there? Well, he said he'd give us tickets. His ticket for it. But he lied. Now he wants me to show you his stupid mixtape. I bet it's not even good. LOL. Well, if it'll help you get a ticket, I'll give it a listen. Ugh, I'll send it over. I'll send it to you over chitter. Yeah, I agree. With you. Let's take a little look see. So, uh, what did you think? <laughs> Speaks for itself, don't you think? <laughs> you could say that. Hey, why don't you tell him to come over here and we can have a little jam about his flow? What? You really want to talk to this guy? He's obviously just a brown-nosing fame chaser. Maybe it's not too late to set him on the right track, you feel me? Well, if you think so. <sighs> just a bunch of back and forth. I don't know why my, like, I didn't get achievements for this earlier. Hey, Zebra, I showed him your mixtape. What'd he say? He said he wants to talk to you about it, believe it or not, so come on over. Well then, let's not keep him waiting. God, I hate his walk, it's so stupid. Yeah, Grandmaster Zolodo, it's such an honor to finally meet you in person. Hey, yo, what was it? Zeba Nodic? <laughs> okay, Marvis. I don't hate you as much as I hate Gamzy. Yes, yes, if it pleases you, sir. Whatever you name you wish to call me, so shall my name be. Oh, mercifully mirthful one. I hate how this guy sounds just like Equius. Even though this is a, even I think this is a bit much. <laughs> oh, well, oh well. Anyway, I gave your mixtape a listen, buddy. And? Yo, buddy, I think you got a ton of potential. What? You, you really think so? Yeah, I think he was real serious. You could get big. Big as me. Maybe even bigger. I, why, I don't know what to say. You know, I've read a bit of your blog. Oh, well, let me just assure you that none of the criticism written out there upon is intended to be taken in any way personal. It's I, right, buddy, I'm a professional, I know how it is. But you really think that's all you want to be? Just a critic? Well, it was my path recommended to me when I underwent my rate of maturation. But uh, I guess it's an awfully hetero hemonormative assignments. Who among us at Seven Sweets truly knows who or what they are meant to be? This is probably just what keeps the oppressive strictures of the hemospectrum system so inescapably woven into every facet of our lives. No young troll is ever given a chance to truly explore the full breadth of their potential. We simply take their roles forced upon us and assume there's no way to escape our destinies as defined by cult by bl cold and blood pressureless competing algorithm. Dang, buddy, you spitting fire over there. Shit. Hey, you ever thought about going on Slam or Get Cold? What? Slam or Get Cold? Uh, well, of course, every young troll has thought about it, but do you think I really stand a chance? Hell yeah, buddy. Even though every winner is recorded history has been a purple blood? First time for everything, buddy. Wow, I had no idea that I was that good. Hey, you gotta believe in yourself, you hear me? Wow, wow, uh, I guess I'll think about it. Good. This has been a really good talk, thank you. Do you think you would be okay if I fo if you followed me back on Chitter so I could def DM you sometimes? Sorry bud, Chitter broke, from broke right now, can't log in. Oh, uh, alright, catch you later buddy. Okay, Marvis is a devious little shit. He just set him up to get cold. So, I feel like I'm on a dream. So, you got your album signed, mixtape listened to. Do you think you could give us your ticket now? What? Did you lie to us again? I distinctly remember th that I said I maybe would give you a ticket. Not that I actually would. You've got to be kidding me. Calm down, calm down, I jest. I really am considering giving you my ticket, but I'm still not entirely sure. There are tryouts for Slammer Get Cold not far from here, actually. If I skip out on Jeevik Week, I could probably make them. But, goodness, even after hearing the Grandmaster himself tell me I'm as good as he is, it's still hard to believe it, you know? No, it's totally impossible for me to not believe it. You're just so good, Zebra. You'd win for sure.
I'm glad you think so, babe. But it's such a big risk. I just, honestly, I just don't think I'm brave enough. I'm so sorry, Joey. I really appreciate all your kindness, but it's just the safer path to go to Jeevik Week like I'd planned. This is unbelievable. Yeah. He lied to us again. He said he was too afraid to go. He thinks he'll lose. Dang. Well, maybe you got something that could convince him to be possible to lose. Like what? The IDK, lol. Ugh, I guess I'll think about it. Eh? What was this? Uh, you were saying that you weren't confident enough to go on Slam or get cold, but maybe this will help? What is this? An, an auto-tuned mic? Yep, and it's really good, actually. You could use it to do all sorts of things with your voice. And actually, it's pretty rare. My moral nicked it from a secret drone development facility, so it could do a lot of special things that a normal microphone can't. Wow, that's incredible. Is that true? Yeah, okay. I'm sure that if you have this, there'll be no doubt you'll win, Zebra. Wow, I guess I'll have to try it out. Huh, you know, it's subtle. But I'm really feeling it. What is this feeling? I don't know if I could tell... If I could tell you how my voice is different, only that it definitely is, I feel... Confidence? That's great to hear, Zebra! Hey, but you're so confident now that you could win Slammer Get Cold really easily. You know what? Yeah, I think I can't. I, you might be right. Great, so happy for you. Can we get that ticket now? Yeah, I suppose so. Here you go, darling. Great, thanks! Cool, we did it. I... Uh, you know what? First time I did it both ways. Huh. Okay. I guess it was good that I came back for this. Oh boy, but that's gonna be a long episode. Yeah, we finally made it. Yeah, now we have just wait. It's kind of crowded in here. Are we gonna have to stand the whole way? We might be able to sneak into the loosest cabooses with Deer Cat when we need to sleep. Yeah, I've done it. Sleep? How long? Oh, I just got a message on Damik's tablet. Hey, Joey, it's great to talk to you, but I kind of have some bad news. You only have 11 days. Zephyros? What does that mean, Zephyros? Oh, I don't know. Who sent this? Should I message back? I think that's Fiamet. Who is that? Fiamet is one of the other Ditrix. She's a sea dweller, but Damic trusts her. I've never spoken to her myself, though. Okay. I'm going to ask her what she means. What does that mean? It's a little complicated, but the TLDR is, if you don't go back through the return portal in 11 days, well, the Earthen Alternia will be destroyed. So hurry up! What? Yeah, I'm really sorry, but I have to go AFK for a while. Uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll reply as soon as I can. Remember, reviews are always appreciated. Flames will be used to roast marshmallows. Wait! Wait, what does that mean? Earth will be destroyed? Return portal? What return portal? Oh my god, you're not an going to answer me. Oh my god, what does that mean, Zephyros? Uh, I don't know. Is she serious? Should we believe her? What do we do? I... Uh, I don't know. We need to... Oh my god, I just got another message. Hey there, it's Critia. I just... I just gonna get it out of the way and say I know everything, so no need for hashtag introductions. Fiamit must have just messaged you right now. Yes, she did! And I'm kind of freaking out about it. What was she talking about? 11 days? What return portal? What does she mean? Earth is going to be destroyed. Oh, don't worry about that. It's not true? Oh, it's completely hashtag true. But it's hashtag fine. It won't happen unless we let it. Uh, which we won't. How do we not let it happen exactly? Ugh, it's so much to talk about over hashtag text. Come meet up with me on my hashtag island and I'll tell you all about it. Hashtag Jeevik Week. We're on the train right now. How long is it going to take for us to get there? Oh, that depends on what hashtag you're coming from. Where did you get on? Um, near a place called Outlet. Going by the local route. About a week or so then. Hashtag such a pain. A week? Your friend just said we have 11 days until both our planets blow up. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's kind of a problem. A bit of a problem? Hey, hashtag relax. You can still reroute the train onto the express track. That should cut the trip down to a few hours. Hashtag no big deal. Great. How are we exactly are we supposed to reroute an entire train? 
Well, the controls will be in the hashtag engine room up at the front of the train. So I suppose you have to get up there and, you know, control them. Great. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. All right. I've got to get back to my party preparations. Big week ahead. Hashtag Divic week. Hashtag toodles. Bye. Yeah, Zephyros, what do we do? Uh, I guess we just have to do what she said. Can we really just walk up to the front of the train just like that? I mean, in theory. Aren't there um segregated sections and we're all the way in the back? Yeah. So it's not going to be that simple. Probably not. Do you think we'll get in trouble if we just try to walk through? Um, trouble? Well, there's always a risk of that, no matter where we are or what we do. Ugh, well, I guess we'd better get moving. Yeah. Alright, I gotta stop it there because uh, this was kind of where I stopped originally. I went a little bit further than I meant to. But, you know, that's okay. Um, either way, I made it to a further along point than I thought I would. And... Yeah, hopefully this is still recording. I don't know if it is. Um, judging by how I'm looking at just like my s recording studio thing a uh, the didn't drop any frames, so this should be smoother and should be better than it was before. So with that, I think I have finally found a way that I'll be able to record this without everything dying on me. Uh, but yeah, that's that's everything. Uh, I'll go into what the quadrants are in the next video. It's not super complicated. I can't remember if I talked about it in the first one, but I'll start the next video with that so I just get it out of the way. Um, but it'll come up probably a lot more and I'll get into what Zebra's whole thing is that I think he's doing. But with that, I thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Hopefully this is enjoyable. I'm starting to like this. There's certain characters that kind of grew on me. I'm a little sad that Chixie kind of had to be done the way that she did. I'm curious if there's another way to kind of get her to not go. Because I, I think Elward has a point, but I also feel like me not following through with Elward might have negative consequences. Who knows? Uh, but that's everything. I'll probably have another video on Wednesday. Okay. <laughs>